19 July, welcome to today's audio devotion by Rev. Paddy Aqua. Today's topic, Spiritual Maturity Beyond Childhood. 1 Corinthians 13, 11. When I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Apostle Paul uses this analogy to illustrate the process of spiritual maturity. When he became a Christian, he initially spoke, reasoned, and thought like a child. However, he didn't remain in that state of spiritual infancy. He grew through various stages to become mature in his faith. Just as no mother would be content if her child remained an infant without developing, God desires that we grow and mature in our Christian lives. Growth and development are essential aspects of life. When we accept Christ, we start as spiritual infants, but we are not meant to stay that way. Stagnation in our spiritual journey can hinder not only our growth, but also the growth of others who look up to us. 1 Peter 2.2 2, As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that ye may grow thereby. Just as a newborn baby needs milk for physical growth, Christians need the word of God for spiritual growth. The Bible is our spiritual food, and we must crave it earnestly. Consistent reading, studying, and meditating on the scriptures are crucial for our development. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 Prayer is the lifeline of a believer. Through prayer we communicate with God, seek His guidance, and align our will with His. The more we pray, the more spiritually alive and sensitive we become. Prayer helps us grow closer to God and strengthens our faith. Ephesians 4.15 But speaking the truth in love may grow up into Him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. Love is a mark of spiritual maturity. As we grow, we should increasingly reflect Christ's love in our actions and relationships. This involves speaking truth with love, showing compassion and serving others selflessly. Hebrews 6 1 Therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. Maturity involves moving beyond the basic teachings of Christianity and striving for holiness. We should aim to live righteously, resist sin and reflect God's character in our daily lives. James 1, 2-4 My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into divers temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Trials and tribulations are opportunities for growth. They test our faith and build perseverance. By embracing challenges with joy and trusting God through them, we mature and become complete in our faith. Galatians 5.16 this I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Spiritual maturity requires us to be led by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit guides us into all truth, convicts us of sin, and empowers us to live victoriously. By yielding to His leading, we grow in our walk with God. Therefore, Set aside time each day for Bible reading and prayer. This helps establish a routine and ensures you are consistently feeding your spirit. Join a community. Engage with a local church or a small group where you can learn, share, and grow together 
with other believers. Look for opportunities to serve in your church and community. Serving helps you apply your faith in practical ways and grow in love and humility. Find a mentor or accountability partner who can guide you, pray for you, and hold you accountable in your spiritual journey. Apply what you learn from the Bible in your daily life. Obedience to God's Word is a key indicator of spiritual maturity. Spiritual growth is a journey that requires intentional effort and commitment. As we desire the sincere milk of the Word, engage in prayer, practice love, pursue holiness, embrace trials and follow the Holy Spirit, we will mature in our faith. Just as Paul put away childish things and grew into spiritual adulthood, we too must strive for maturity, allowing God to transform us into His image and fulfill His purpose in our lives. Today's prayer. Thank you for the journey of spiritual growth that you have set before me. I acknowledge that I started my walk with you as a spiritual infant, but I desire to grow and mature in my faith. Help me to crave your word daily, to seek your face in prayer continually, and to practice love and compassion in all my interactions. Guide me to pursue holiness and righteousness, to embrace trials with joy, and to be led by your Holy Spirit. Strengthen me to hold fast to the truth and to apply your teachings in my life. Surround me with a community of believers who will support and encourage me in this journey. Lord, I commit to putting away childish things and striving for spiritual maturity. Transform me into your image and use me for your glory. Thank you for your grace and patience as I grow in you. If you love this audio devotion, kindly subscribe, like, and share this channel. Have a blessed day. Pass Caris and God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.